Hello, I am uh, Dr. Harshita. I am a consultant endocrinologist at uh, Manipal Hospital, Sajapur, Bangalore. Today, we'll be discussing about common problems with thyroid. So, thyroid is a small endocrine gland that is situated in the front of your neck. And there are two common types of thyroid problems, hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism. Hypo is where the thyroid gland works less and it is more common. And hyper is where the gland works more. Today, we'll be discussing about hyperthyroidism. Hyper stands for where the gland starts working more. You can experience weight loss even though you are not on any lifestyle changes and despite increased appetite, you can have palpitations. It is where you can feel your heart beating more even when you are at rest and in a relaxed state. You can have tremors that is fine shaking of your hand. There can be increased bowel movements. You can feel hot all the time, that is called as heat intolerance and you can also feel sweaty. Apart from this, you might also start noticing a swelling on the front of your neck in the region where the thyroid is situated and also the eyes can become more prominent and bulgy in these circumstances. The common blood test that your doctor asks for is T3, T4 and TSH which is basically called a thyroid panel. The T3 and T4, which are the thyroid hormones, are increased in this scenario and the TSH, which is a signal from the brain, is suppressed. It is either thyroiditis, which is an inflammation of the thyroid gland, which is seen with viral infections, or it can be called as Graves' disease, which is an autoimmune condition. By the term autoimmune, what I mean to say is, your immune system thinks that there is some problem with the thyroid and starts attacking the thyroid by producing antibodies. These antibodies are commonly called as TRABS, which is TSH receptor antibody. What investigations does your doctor commonly ask to differentiate between these two conditions? The first thing is a nuclear scan. It is called as TC99 scan, which is basically an injection that is given to you in your arm and a picture of your thyroid is taken. Depending upon the uptake in the thyroid gland, we differentiate between thyroiditis and Graves. The second common investigation is TRAB antibody levels. If the antibody levels are on the higher side, it is likely to be the autoimmune condition, which is Graves. The treatment grossly differs between both these conditions. If it is thyroiditis, it is generally a wait and watch approach. Whereas if it is Graves' disease, we either treat with medications or something called as radioiodine ablation of the gland, depending on the scenario. Thank you.